Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm, which is a mouthful of a title. Uh, yeah, we're back and things are still going really well, pretty much, pretty much the exact same as they were going previously. So I guess let's just keep it rolling, right? No reason to slow down now. So we're getting access to our research labs, which means that we are going to be able to use our faith to purchase... Uh, science and culture buildings bonus for the first time. We're still trying to cope with our massive explosion of population. Uh, I'm a little worried about our era score. We have entered the modern era here in turn here in 800 AD. This is a pretty good uh, rate of research. It's certainly not set in any uh, world records, but it's pretty good. Definitely wanted to check north of them. Uh, these cities will definitely not be able to do the thing. What is the benefit of Protestantism? What are the beliefs of this religion? Shrines and temples provide extra food and allows the construction of synagogues. And over here we have some Catholicism. Which would allow us to construct a meeting house in a holy site if we were to do that. And allows us to spend faith to train warrior monks. But again, excuse me. We would need a holy site to, to take advantage, so those religions effectively don't do anything for us. Okay, fortunately we're in a place here where we can, uh, we can pretty reasonably just build some of these research labs. It's going to be 2320 for each one that we want to purchase. Well, seven turns is not a bad speed. Let's go ahead and buy that one, or uh, build that one, rather. We're going to finish our... Stuff over here. Let's see here. Where do I think we can we can get away with a faith purchase? Faith purchase would be eleven sixty. So we're gonna be able to buy exactly one with faith. Uh, I guess probably not up here, right? This city actually has reasonable production. We can just build it. We are not pressed for housing right now, so let's move the sewer down to after that. Uh, here in Kafia. This one we'll buy. This will be the one we buy with faith. I think. Uh, maybe this will be the one we buy with faith. It's actually going to be even slower here, and we definitely want to complete the housing stuff. This one we'll have to buy out. This will probably be the one we buy with gold. So here, yeah, it's a little unfortunate. So it takes about... You know what? Let's just buy the damn sewer. That'll that'll be a good way to, to save some industry over there. And then these, you know, they'll get done. Not a totally uh not a totally urgent thing. Okay, but these uh whoops. These research labs are gonna be really powerful here. Because of all of the power that we have coming in thanks to Cardiff, uh, we should be comfortably generating eleven science off of each of these. Right? I think we're, like, totally cool on power. Oh, actually... We do not have as much as I would like. Although, in several of our cities, we don't have anything else currently drawing power. Yeah, it's here it's a little bit of a problem because of the factory. We'll have to get another power source. Um, that could just be... What am, I, what am I building toward here? Oh, yes. Aqueducts. Sure, that's reasonable. Oh yeah, that, that will probably just be us getting the seaport. That'll solve that problem. Because uh, it'll be an extra two power in that city. And then... And we're looking at 12... We're looking at several turns before we're ready for that. Um, I guess, hold on a second here. We don't need to pick up flight before we get electricity. Let me reconfigure our queue here. Let's get those. Then electricity. Then radio. Because we will need to see aluminum, right? That does matter, but I want electricity earlier. Okay, I think we know what we're building. I think we know what we're doing. We know what our various resources are building toward. We have all of our friendships and stuff. We have no idea when the era is going to end yet, right? Time has not yet come. Uh, yeah. I suppose we should take one nighter, because we now know that you cannot repair units that are built on a strategic if you don't have any of the strategic. So just in case. 
it's probably a good idea to have at least one of everything sitting in the bank. No great generals and stuff are being earned by other people. I suppose we should make sure we're keeping an eye on this. Uh, and we have earned some people. So, yep, we will take a uh, we'll take a great artist. Doesn't much matter who. And, sure, this great admiral seems fine. We're definitely going to just immediately expend. Okay, so let's see here. First of all, you should go over here. You can go here and retire on this unit, giving it another promotion. And sure, you've sat there long enough. The White Whale. Fine. Perfect, actually. May you never be successfully hunted. That city is just called Pest. Buddha and Pest. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Unfortunately, I have internet brain poisoning, and when I see the four letters P-E-S-T in order, I start hearing that terrible song. Some of you out there are cursed with the knowledge of what I'm talking about, and the rest of you should not investigate it. This is like a, for serious, a Lovecraftian thing. There are some things that man was not meant to know, and this is one of them. Okay, so next turn we have the faith to buy the research lab. It seems like the world is mostly pretty peaceful. Just a little bit of, a uh, little bit of old enmity that has not yet been buried. So, got ourselves access to the aqueduct, which we totally will use in some places. We've also got access to... A new district that can be built not on land, which is a very helpful thing for us. Okay. Was that worth all the religion set up? I don't know. I mean, we're making a lot of money off of our religion as well. So do we have any strong feelings about... I suppose we could up our faith output a little bit pretty easily just by dropping two envoys like this. And then we probably want to hold our envoys just to make sure we can maintain the uh, the city-states that we really want to. We could jump up to plus two faith. Nah, let's let's not let's not spend anymore. Okay. Ironus Bosch can start to create his horrible, terrifying, brilliant, but terrifying works. You can just go back to sleep. <laughs> You've done what you needed to do. Oh interesting. Barbarians. Alright, so we're not anywhere near purchasing the research lab that we know we're going to need to purchase here. I guess we're just continuing to hang out. Uh, what did I have this builder doing? I was waiting here for some reason. Well, probably you should, like, build a mine. That's probably what this guy was coming down here to do. America has denounced the Congo. Congo have declared war, war on the Zulu. Yep, America doesn't much like it when you fight the Zulu, even though America also wants to fight the Zulu. The Last Judgment. Is the last... What is the last work he has to create? Is he going to create for us a triptych of triptychs? Oh, did we get... Yep, we got hit by the barbarians and forced back. Well, I'm going to go back over there. I'm not done exploring. And I'm not afraid of them. Because they literally can't do anything to me that would really matter. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and... Hmm. Is it worth delaying the research lab to purchase a lighthouse and a trade route right now? We'll build the lighthouse and we'll maybe consider purchasing the other stuff. Uh, Brazil is still slowly turning over. We could use another builder over here. Yeah, but that lighthouse is more important. Alright, so when we finish steam power here, we're going to get the canal district. We're going to get plus movement for our embarked units even more than we already have. We're also pretty close to getting a governor title. Hmm. Mm. We don't really need the great works of art, I suppose. Yeah, you know what? They're still valuable social policies left to earn. We should probably not trade off our sources of culture. Okay, so the air is going to end in 10 turns, and we are going to Dark Age if we're not careful. And a Dark Age at this point would be... inconvenient. Not a, uh... Yep. Triptych of triptychs. 
not necessarily dangerous. And I think between our uh, 18, sorry, 20 points of population on this island, we probably could prevent... Because if, if we go into a Dark Age, it's going to affect the loyalty of our citizens. We could probably prevent the loss of any of our cities. We probably would still get Brasilia, especially considering that it's going to uh, it's going to become a free city before we would flip into the Dark Age. So it wouldn't necessarily cost us the ability to get it. I guess... I guess it wouldn't maybe not be that big of a deal. Yeah, maybe that's just fine, actually. Okay. Alright, well let's, um... Are you are we desperate for housing here? We're a little desperate for housing. Let's go put up a farm. That'll help relieve the pressure somewhat. Uh, down here we should probably just build a research lab. Yeah, I think so. So we'll get access to oil power, but we don't have any sources of oil. Do we actually have the ability to see oil? I don't think I do. Where, where is that? No, it's all the way down here on refining. Well, we're just going to kind of blaze right past it. Because <laughs> we need computers pretty badly. I mean, we know we're going after that. We may as well go ahead and add that to the queue. And I mean, we're burning through stuff pretty quickly. We have really good resource outputs. We may actually end up... Um, Oh, okay. Our spy has gained sources. We may actually end up buying another... Uh, buying another one of these research labs out. Probably one of the ones down here. Or something. Like the one in this city. Uh, with faith. We may we may get another purchase. Although that city doesn't actually have a religion yet. We would have to make sure that we actually get that done. Okay, yeah. Steal money, please. So, this war seems to not be going that great for the Zulu, although... Okay, the Congo do have a siege unit. A catapult's going to have a hard time doing good damage against a city with 52 strength, I think. Alright, right here, we're going to make the same move. Ooh, they have an entertainment complex. Well, that'll be nice for all of our cities over here. Oh, I think I had I had the money to buy out. It was twenty three hundred, wasn't it? Well, we'll buy it this turn. Looking too quickly. It is worth noting that um, this city is not getting the full benefit because this city does not have a harbor and thus is not gaining any power at all from uh, from Cardiff. That's fixable. Right, what city am I looking at now? There we go. Thank you. Okay. We have all of our campus buildings up. Don't think that it's hugely necessary to build any of these wonders. We could just make a neighborhood. We could also just build like a monument... A water mill here is not terribly impressive. The city actually got uh, really strong really quickly. Yeah, it might well be worth building a neighborhood. We'd have to remove a good tile. I guess we could remove the farm. Yeah, that might be the best one. Because I really, these other tiles, I really do love industry. As you all know. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That seems like a reasonable move. So when we hit a Dark Age, I don't know if we have done a Dark Age on camera. It's not necessarily as bad as it sounds. Okay, somebody built Apadana on turn 157. That is one of the earlier wonders that is available. Yeah, it may actually end up being totally okay for us to hit a Dark Age here for a couple of reasons. Number one, there are upsides to a Dark Age. It, it lowers your uh, city loyalty, and that's not great. But it's also not exactly going to kill you. Uh, we could make a water park. <clears throat> I 
if we were to make a water park, we'd put it in just one of these random tiles. Uh, its effects would spread. Hold on. Does Mexico City work on water parks? No, it does not. It is specifically entertainment complex and industrial zone. If I build it right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? Actually, I think I'm remembering that the water park buildings might have greater range than nor than the other districts anyway. Uh, the aquarium. Yeah, they already extend their effect to nine tiles away. Okay, so if we put it right here, it would reach that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, you know what? Down here is probably better, though, because we might be able to hit one of the cities way down here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Four, five, six. Yep, this is the tile for sure, then. And let's go ahead and do that. You do get science for some of the buildings in the water park as well. So this is not entirely about collect correcting amenity problems, but we are also having amenity problems. Hmm. Do I have the ability to manage what buildings are missing power here? No. I would really love it if the factory remained working at full strength. Oh. Okay. Okay. So the city of Brasilia has flipped over. It would join our empire in nine turns if we were to maintain um, our current level of loyalty pressure for nine turns, which we know we won't. Our alliances have run their course and need to be renewed. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember which alliance was where. I know that we had a research alliance with you. And I know that I did not have a cultural alliance with you. So I guess that resolves that. Okay, our alliance with Gilgamesh is leveled up enough. At this point, we just hit this level. That it would be worth running some trade routes to him for the extra great people points. Especially uh, out of the capital. And I just gained a huge amount of vision for some reason. What did I just finish? Did I finish researching something or? Oh, you know what? I think there's a part in the game where alliances start to give you shared vision. We may, we may have just hit that. Well, all of a sudden, this guy's not looking like such a valuable explorer. Okay, uh, what am I doing? I guess we may as well build a water mill. Like, we certainly don't need it, but also, do we need any of this other stuff? I guess I was working on a builder. That's probably a reasonable thing to finish working on. Uh, sorry, that's not what I want. I want my social policies. So I do not have bonus builder charges in my policies right now, but also I'm not sure that I would even care about that. Yeah, I, I don't want to dislodge any of my current policies. They're all very good. It turns out there are a couple of tribal villages left that I just don't really have a good way of accessing, so we're not going to worry about it. And yeah, we're going to have dark, a dark age here. This may be something we can turn to our benefit. Oh, I didn't get the college. Okay, sure. I have no use for these horses. Yep, somebody actually put some effort into building Oxford University. A lot of the time, the AIs just let you have certain wonders. Oxford University, I should have known, is not one of those. One of the ones that the AI actually cares about. Alright, progress toward suffrage has increased considerably. And with this builder, we can come down here. We got a couple of tiles that have stuff on them, or at least have the capacity to have stuff on them, rather. Uh, you can just come home, I guess. I don't know there's a lot of use for you hanging out. What does your effect do? Is it plus loyalty? I think it might be a plus loyalty use, which, who knows, maybe we will actually want to uh, put down here. 
So we do need housing. Uh, if you're wondering why it looks like we have uh, so much production available here, it's because of the rollover from the uh, Lost Wonder. It allows us to just salvage some of that industry and put it into something else immediately. And then, like, I don't really care about the Statue of Liberty. We know that we're going to want to start building seaports immediately. So I don't want to get involved in anything too important here. Is it just plus one food, plus one production? Sure. That seems like an okay but not great thing to spend a couple of turns on. Uh, you were just going to buy your research lab with money, I think. So what else would we want to do then? Uh, I don't think I care about this. And this would give us a lot of favor, actually. But there must be something more valuable we can build over here. Yeah, like, actually... An industrial zone down here wouldn't be a bad idea so that we can feed uh, industry to both of these cities. Yeah, let's do that. And I don't know that it much matters where it goes. We don't really have a lot of good options here. I guess building it right here will give us an extra science. Because this will be adjacent to two districts now. Okay, so we got a couple more research labs finishing soon. We'll have even more power coming through. I'm I'm actually curious what the Dark Age policies are. Because you get special uh, social policies available to you for being in a Dark Age. But I don't know what they are at this point in the game. Because they're, uh, they're different based on what era it is. At least I think they are. They probably are, because there are a couple that would not really be relevant this late in the game. Oh, our expression of mass mo uh, mass media will define humanity's future. I definitely don't care about propaganda or Broadway or Cristo Redentor. None of this stuff is directly relevant to us. Okay, a drought has hit our friends, and what a sad time it is. Yeah, see, we have vision of some of our allies, but not... All of them. We, we can't see Gilgamesh's lands. We can't see Gilgamesh. We can't see off of Gilgamesh's units. I should say. I don't remember how exactly that works. All right. So what do we build here next? I sort of want to build a uh, a harbor. Which we will be able to do in four turns. When we hit 13 population, we'll get another building slot. So I suppose just build an arena for now? Or at least start working on an arena? And now that we have mass media, we have to actually make a decision, right? The whole point here is mass media was a very safe approach. Uh, what do we want next? I think ideology, probably. So nuclear program is more scientist points, the ability to steal tech more effectively, or at least to benefit more from stealing tech, which is definitely a thing we're already motivated to do. Yeah, I still haven't decided what government we'll go for after this, but we definitely want to upgrade to a new government. So my plan was to keep upgrading Amani. How much do we really need to do? Like, how much do we need Puppeteer? I would like to have Puppeteer. I would really like to not be in any danger of losing Cardiff. I'm just thinking we want to make sure that we get one more Governor title into uh, Pingala. But at this point, we know at the very least, we have one more building coming in the Government Plaza, and that will that will get us the Governor title we need. So next turn, we get to purchase a Research Lab with gold. And then after that, we get to purchase a couple of Traders with gold. And yeah, everything is still going swimmingly. What do the emissions look like right now? Nobody's outputting anything yet. I suppose it is only 1000 AD. And we're well on our way to flood barriers, which I think we're actually going to get up in time for them to matter. Let's build a bunch of farms here just to get ourselves a little bit more housing. More than anything, we want to make sure that we can continue growing.
Yeah, this is pretty good. Plus combat experience for any units trained here allows us to train fleets and armadas directly instead of having to train individual units and combine them. Plus two gold on all coast tiles. Plus two gold, plus two science, plus two food, and plus two power from Cardiff. This is just a very, very good building. Got research lab up. Seaport is less critical here, but maybe still the right play. I guess we could put something down over there. It is probably the case that I want to just... Like, this could totally be secondary spaceport, right? Yeah, let's just get working on this. It's going to take forever to build it, but we don't have any other terribly pressing builds coming along, I don't think. Six turns. So we have three turns left of our current level of loyalty pressure. It will be most of the way converted. I, we'll still get it. It'll just slow down a little bit. That's fine, though. People are all of a sudden building wonders very quickly. Uh, at this point, we could probably afford to cough up the coal. But, like, what if you just gave me money? I don't love giving him favor, though. We're not that hard up for cash. We don't actually have the flood barriers up yet. Let's be still a little bit leery of trading people things that allow them to create emissions. Yeah, we're starting to see uh, insufficient amenities over here as well. It's a good thing that we have a plan to combat this. Hmm. So I'm assuming that the turtle pressure has not been sufficient for any kind of like... Yeah, we still haven't even gotten a single citizen converted, so the the trade route religious pressure is not really a thing to consider here. There's definitely some value in running trade routes to Gilgamesh. The city has great engineer and great uh yeah, great engineer and great scientist points coming in. So honestly, a trade route running to Uruk seems pretty good for us. No, Nippur is actually better. It doesn't have the point of faith, which I don't care about, but it does have six more gold. Okay, well worth it. I should probably just purchase the shipyard. Let's build the granary, and then we are going to want to buy a builder or buy a trader somewhere. But where? Maybe here, honestly. Oh no, let's let's run it from the capital, because we should be running a trade route from the capital to Gilgamesh. Culture bomb adjacent tiles when completing an industrial zone in any city is a terrible great engineer. Pass. Other people are generating great engineer points. We shouldn't have to wait long for somebody to scoop this guy up, and then we'll get a good one after that. <laughs> we have enough points to earn a great writer just off of uh wonders, I guess. Uh, yeah, why don't you hang out for a little while? We'll figure out if we need your loyalty bonus. It's actually possible that we will want it here. I should probably just have him move over there. I mean, I guess we do have a uh, governor. That'll help with that. Okay, we successfully stole a bunch of money. That's always nice. Let a, let a, uh, that will let us buy out the uh, the next trader. Our spy should definitely take a promotion before doing anything else. Honestly, steel technology, as if more advanced, is probably a good call. We should probably be stealing tech boosts. And here we're going to run that same trade route. So it's plus one great person point in each district in the city, isn't it? Yes. Okay. We can only benefit from that bonus once per uh, city. Once in each of our cities. So we have one more builder charge left. What do I want to do with it? 
These turtles and these fish are both outside of actual work range. There's not a huge value in uh, fishing boats on either of those. I guess we have spaces down here in these uh, these cities that could be buffed up. Let's go build like a farm over here. Uh, here we could use a seaport. Yep, having the same same problem here with the factory. We're going to build that because we want to save money to buy out the shipyards. So where does the trader get built? Maybe here, honestly. This would be less about getting the extra great people points and more about just getting extra industry into that city. But that that is totally valuable. Then again, we could also use extra uh, extra industry here. And we can simultaneously be getting more great people points this way. So as of right now, we are getting 10 great engineer points, and that is absolutely killing everybody else. Leonardo da Vinci is fine. He is an acceptable great scientist, or great engineer. We are also going to get the next great scientist, and we are, yeah, we're murdering everybody on these points as well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this bonus, though. We might pass on this guy as well. I'm kind of excited about this Dark Age now. Want to see what kind of value we can try to wring out of it. So a couple of things are going to happen. Our loyalty levels are going to change. We're going to get access to the Dark Age policies. We're also going to come into possession of a unique opportunity here. If we can get a golden age this era, our next age, instead of just being a golden age, will be a heroic age, uh, where we will get to take three golden age dedications at the same time while getting all the other benefits of a golden age. It's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty big deal. So, each of our citizens is exerting only 0.5 loyalty pressure in their city, uh, also affecting other cities within nine tiles, but 10% less effective per tile. They were producing 1.5 previously. So we are going to get to pick a dedication that increases our era score. So plus one era score for each industrial or later building constructed. Plus one for each time you complete a trade route. We have a lot of trade routes running right now. This may well be the winner. We are certainly not going to discover new continents or natural wonders or kill any naval units in combat, fingers crossed. So it really comes down to, like, industrial or later buildings constructed versus just the slow tick-in of points from all of our trade routes running. So we're building seaports right now. Those will take a little while. And we're about to finish a research lab. We have another research lab yet to buy, don't we? We have this one, we have this one. We bought the one in this city already? Yes. We don't have campuses over here yet. So the seaports are industrial or later. Uh, we're also going to be building a factory in the industrial zone in that southern city. But honestly, oh man, sewers. If we had not built all our sewers yet. Well, I mean, we haven't built all of our sewers. Gonna gain access to hangars, which we probably won't build any of. Yeah, I think it might actually be reform the coinage. Yeah, okay, let's take that. So this city is, in fact, a little bit negative on loyalty. Well, congratulations, you have finally found a use. Must be on a completed harbor, sorry. Plus two loyalty per turn in this city. So our loyalty is now negative 0.3. It has to get all the way down to zero from 100 in order for our city to flip. So I'm not really that worried about it. I don't think we're in any danger there. And as we continue to gain citizens in that city and in our other nearby cities, our loyalty value will go up. So I think we are in fine, fine shape. Okay, you're an extremely talented spy. Could we move you 
to a city that has... Yeah, we could, like... Oh, wow, he doesn't have any visible campuses. Well, I was going to go steal tech boosts, but I'm a little worried now. Uh, we did promise not to spy on the Congo, and I definitely don't want to sour our relationship with any of our other friends. I'm wondering if we should just spy here and, you know, just sort of trust that we'll get away with it. Yeah, you know, we're very good at stealing tech boosts. We'll figure it out. Oh, we didn't have sewers here yet. And we totally want them. So the Ferris Wheel will not give a bonus to nearby cities, but it will give a bonus to the city itself, which does matter. And then the Aquarium is the first one that gives the city and also gives plus one science to each coastal resource, shipwreck, and reef tile. The Aquarium is actually quite good. Although it is a shame that there aren't very many reefs in this city. Well, let's... I just buy this? I should probably just buy the sewer, right? I guess we have other stuff that we want to buy, don't we? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we want to buy. But we're going to hit our, uh, our growth soft cap if we don't get the sewer right now. And then, uh, yeah, you can work on the Ferris wheel? Seaport's not, not really so important here. Got ourselves some extra envoys, but I don't think we have any... I don't think there's a lot of value in using them. I guess we do have museums now. We have a couple of museums now. Yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and cap off Nan Madal. And I think I'll just hold on to the other three envoys so that we don't get caught flat-footed if somebody tries to steal one of our city-states from us. And we're not that worried about the city-state quests anymore, I don't think. Nah, we're alright. So let's see... I want to see the start of a new turn. We'll see if the uh, loyalty timer here recalculates a little bit. It looks like we maybe didn't lose enough... Uh... No, absolutely not. Maybe we didn't lose enough loyalty pressure on the city for it not to flip. Brazil's trying to reconvert it via force, but I don't know that they have the uh, military strength necessary to actually pull that off. Okay, Cardiff is not allowed to be owned by anybody else. Exactly why, why I wanted to keep some envoys in reserve. Uh, this city could actually really use a seaport. It would be 2320 to buy out, but it'll take forever to build, and like this city actually needs it actually properly needs it. So we'll build a sewer here while we save up for that. Uh, we're doing our best. You know, in a lot of different ways, we are doing our best. Oh, my uh, alliance with Hungary has worn off. We should fix that. Now, I think we need to keep our great works of art. We need, we still need culture income. Our science has actually gotten back above it, though. That's nice. Alright, a lot of not very important stuff going on. I did see that somebody is now starting to build Petra at this point in the game. And you know, more power to them. Alright, let's keep the alliances running because they are security. And... Does this work? If I build a farm here... Okay, it seems like it doesn't power up off of that. Although, actually, we still don't have that bonus, do we? Never mind. Yeah, I, st I still don't have replaceable parts. Well, we have, a, we have a goal in mind. We know where we're going. So, probably a zoo is the thing that makes the most sense here. Plus one science to each rainforest and marsh tile in the city. Okay, well, we have a marsh. I don't think we have any rainforest here. But also, plus one amenity to and from entertainment to... Quite a lot of cities. That seems pretty worthwhile. We could just build a bank instead. That's f fine. Not like super exciting. Watermill here would be like plus two food, plus one production. If we do have one rice tile. Yeah, I guess let's build this for the Great Merchant Point, if, any, if nothing else. 
Uh, here we still are trying to save money up for shipyards. Hmm. Well, we don't really need more housing. We also don't really need to improve more tiles, because we're already working three pretty good tiles. Work on a monument. Improve your loyalty a little bit. Oh, you can see our loyalty is already creeping back upward. Oh, and now we actually have, uh, we have lost enough loyalty pressure that the city's not going to flip to us. It just took a while for it to recalculate. Well, that's a shame. When we hit our next golden age, it's going to look really nice. And at least we managed to steal it from Brazil uh, before things came to an end there. Man, I wish we could just mark our great works as off-limits. Yeah, is it Cardiff again? All right, well, in five turns we're going to get another governor title, and then Cardiff will be pretty well secured. But I guess we're going to be without power for a little while. All right. A random tech from the modern era and workshops provide culture. Honestly, still not very good. Start building. I know it's going to be slow going, but we want to save money for these shipyards. Okay, we know what we want to do here. So we can delete this uh, this pin now. Yeah, Robert's not much of a friend if he's so focused on stealing my city-state allies. So Brasilia will not fall to... Uh, to Brazil's very meager military strength, I don't think. Uh, this is definitely the city where I prioritize the shipyard first. Do it there next, and then we are free to use our gold for other things. God, I hope we can have a good functional amount of industry in the cities that need the flood barriers. Enough to actually get the flood barriers going in a reasonable amount of time. I should keep an eye on... Okay, like 480 industry toward Wonder Construction is a way better value. So do we actually want this guy? A random tech from the industrial era and also chemistry. No, I don't. He's terrible. Okay, river is flooded that I don't care about. Triggers the Eureka Moan for two random technologies. Okay, see, so like... James Young is way more sensible for us. Alright, we don't know where oil is. We got lucky and got a free envoy from Antananarivo. And we did not get the notification that we have any free sources of oil, so that's a shame. There's oil down here that's not really accessible for many of our cities. Uh... A bunch of offshore oil. Yeah, that's useful. This one is accessible. No offshore oil over here. Well, hopefully one deposit will be enough for our needs. Once we uh, once we double our envoys in Cardiff, it should be pretty easy for us to hold on to it. You know, I will go ahead and throw the envoys that we're about to earn in a couple of turns from, uh, from Influence in there as well, because I really do need to get it back just the moment we can. All right, America knows about electricity. America has declared, declared friends with Scotland. It's a lot of, like, stuff that's not directly relevant to our goals. Okay, so we can purchase the shipyard here. Which will be very helpful. And then we don't actually need the seaport all that badly. I think this might be a good time to drop a builder, actually. Our spy has arrived and should probably gain sources before trying to steal anything because we really don't want to blow this or else there's going to be some diplomatic consequences. It would be a bit of an international incident if our spy was caught in their lands now. Yeah, I didn't realize how many sewers I still hadn't built. It probably would have been better to take the uh, industrial age buildings thing. I mean, we have a lot of trade routes running. We will have trade routes end. 
Yeah, I, I screwed up there. I thought I had built all of our sewers, and I should have double-checked. Wow, he really wants this iron. Sure, you know what? Sure, that's a fine deal, and you've been a good friend in the sense that you stay out of my way and leave me alone. Antonarivo. Uh, what are we getting from them? Plus 2% culture for every great person we've ever earned. That's handy. Oh, we have our first 20 population city. So yeah, I would really, really love to get a golden age on this next era. I think that would be absolutely huge for us. We have discovered a source of aluminum underneath Ruatoria, which is just fantastic. What good news. Uh, we are definitely going to take Puppeteer. So presumably that has gotten us control of Cardiff. By how much? Okay, you'd have to put seven more envoys in to get it back. And I actually would really like this back. Yeah. I'm going to put one more in. Let's get the uh, the six effect as well. Who was who was fighting us on this one? Poor Venice. Okay, not a big deal. That one we might not be able to keep. We'll see how much effort he wants to put into it. Okay, so we have... Oh, it probably will recalculate the power symbols next turn. So here we have the option of building a power plant, which we probably do not need to do. The only city that would actually benefit from it is this one. So I guess we could just work on a broadcast center. We can make a water park over here as well, just because of the fact that there are so many more uh, tiles that would get plus science. And it is only one science on each of those tiles. But, like, each of our turtles is on a reef. I guess it's not its not really that much value. And we want to make sure that we have a population space for that spaceport. i That's not a realistic concern. The city's growing so quickly. We definitely will. So Crystal Redentor doesn't really help us. Chichen Itza seems like a waste of time. You know, honestly, I'm thinking about... Um, a project. Oh, you know what we should do is we should build one anti-tank crew, because that's a nice high power unit and it'll make all of our cities stronger. We can't afford to be at, like, at super low city strength. We've got a lot of friends now, but that's not necessarily going to remain the case. Uh, so let's see. We have picked up these Dark Age policies, right? So, plus two food, plus two production from... Domestic trade routes, but you can't buy settlers or, or settle new cities. Naval raiders get more... Or you, get, you get more production toward naval raiders, but trade routes suck. Plus 50% gold in cities with a stock exchange, plus 25% production in cities with a factory, but minus two amenities in all cities. Okay, so the Dark Age policies are not actually any good for us at all. Robber Barons is the only one that kind of works... I don't know. I don't think it's good. Yeah, that's a shame. These Dark Age policies just, like, don't don't provide any benefit to us, really. Ah, well. I was all excited about those. That's okay. The, uh, the Heroic Age is still a very powerful bonus if we can get it going. So we gotta keep earning great people. Uh, I'm not really sure what else we're gonna do. Moving up to a new type of government will definitely be helpful. Yeah, we got mobilization. We do need one more governor title. I guess when we hit the new form of government, uh, the new building that we get to build in the government plaza will be the source of Pingala's uh, upgrade to allow us to get better space race programs. So yeah, I guess ideology into something. We'll figure it out. Ideology has no boost. So, nothing to think about there. We just kind of let it work. Okay, the Congo feel that we have fulfilled our promise to stop spying on them. Good! So now it's no longer quite as much of a disaster if we get caught spying on them. You can't expect a man to keep a promise forever. The AI of Civ 6 figures. 
I'll be honest with you, though. I don't feel like we're very allied right now. Dude went from one of my favorite neighbors to untrustworthy very quickly during this series. So, I mean, we should get the seaport. It's not, it's definitely not an urgent construction over here. And I guess, actually, it might be better for us to, if we're going to construct things that are not totally urgent, maybe we should just make a builder or two down here first. Because we could definitely use more tile improvements for these cities. They are not, uh, they are not working exclusively improved tiles. Uh, so... I definitely want to have gold to buy the factory in this city as quickly as possible when it, uh, when the workshop finishes. That's five turns, for, that's 2,000 gold earned from now. So what are we, what are we using gold for in the interim? Sewer here doesn't really help us that much. Yeah, I guess we don't really have any, like, totally urgent uses for our gold. Nope. In five turns, when we get access to the Flood Barrier, we're going to want to have all of our cities doing that. And at that point, we're going to want to have a lot of gold because we're going to want to just buy a ton of stuff. So I guess let's wait on that. A lot of our cities are going to finish what they're doing around then. So yeah, I guess we're just pressing forward to flood barriers. Somebody has constructed the Terracotta Army. Obviously, uh, kind of a military sort of wonder. Not really a thing that we were in any, uh, in any state to go after, nor would we really benefit from. Yeah, we're just hitting and turn a bunch of times here. Once we have computers, we're definitely going to refocus on uh, the science victory pretty narrowly. And here we have a New World Congress. So this is not... Hold on. I think the Flood Barrier counts as a building in the city center. So I would actually really love it if this came up city center. And I, I would love it enough to spend quite a lot of favor on it, actually. And then for this one... Ordinarily, I would really like the population growth. But we are starting to hit a housing situation in some of our cities. And also, I'm a little worried about minus loyalty. Um, so I don't really care what happens with this. I would love it if I didn't get targeted by either of them. Uh, I'm not really sure how this, this works. I, I'm assuming this doesn't affect loyalty pressure at all. It's just plus five loyalty per, for your city, but it doesn't, like, spread loyalty for your civilization out to other people. Um... We are not really going to be able to take advantage of the loyalty loss in other players' cities because of the fact that we're currently in a Dark Age. So I don't think the outcome of this matters to me at all. Uh, reduced population growth for... Robert, because screw him is why. And then let's go pretty hard on this. This is like the sort of thing we've been waiting for. So I know that Mvemba would like to vote against this. He doesn't really have a lot of uh, a lot of favor to work with here. I think what I'm going to do is let's see at 225. So each of these guys could afford seven votes. I can't put in enough votes to make them both to make them not able to gang up and vote it down. But I, for real, I think this is extremely important for us. I am willing to put this much favor into it. Then we're going to find out everybody else also voted city center, and that I spent way more favor than I had to, but that honestly would be fine. Okay, I was the only one who put any favor into this at all. Two votes would have been sufficient. Uh, here, Corvinus was targeted by 
himself and also by Brazil. Interesting. I'll be curious to see if Brazil can actually make good on that. But yeah, I'm excited about double production toward city center buildings. I think that's going to be really good for us. America has completed research on scientific theory. You know, honestly, they're not that far behind us. We just have absolutely nothing of import going on for a couple of turns here. And then all of a sudden, there's going to be a real flurry of activity. Oh, he wants our cocoa. Hold on. We should sell it. We should sell our cocoa to him. I hit no on that deal because I saw the great work in it before I processed all the different parts of it. But yeah, if he would like my cocoa, he can have it. Absolutely. What a fine deal. The only other thing we have left is turtles, which, for some reason, we can't give away. Yeah, we'll say start work on the zoo for now. Obviously, we have some pretty important stuff that's going up in a second here. Uh, you can... I guess that's industry, you know? It's one industry. It's something we can do right now. Oh, there is actually another source of oil over here. Okay, so this builder has a couple of sources of oil to grab for us, which is nice. Not a uh, not a totally incredible thing, but it's nice. It is a pleasant bonus. Hmm, interesting. We do kind of still need amenities. Yeah, you know what? I'll take this deal. I'm okay with giving you coal at this point. Man, I can't wait until we move into the next era. We got some era score for being the first people to move into the Atomic Era. You can see that is worth one more point when you're able to do it first. Oh, fisheries. Yeah, we'll do one fishery and then we'll get, uh, we'll get on the building of the flood barriers. Two turns, absolutely awesome. One turn. It's turning out to be not terribly expensive, but you got to remember a lot of these cities are not protecting very much land. That's a big part of that. Make sure that we get these up. Yeah, see this one. Here it's a little harsher. We're going to want to buy that factory. Okay, so now we have a boost toward both of the government types that we were considering. This city doesn't actually need a flood barrier at all. Uh, in that case, I think I'm going to go ahead and put up a power plant. I guess the... The production bonus will be extended to all cities within six tiles. They do not already have a bonus from a power plant building. It gives plus three production... How much would it cost to buy the power plant? It's actually something we can just purchase next turn. So maybe I instead want to begin building like a water park? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a bunch of the cities, a bunch of the tiles around here work. This one's fine. Oh, here we actually don't need it either. I was so... I got uh, spooked by how hard it was to build Flood Barriers last game. But it really has... It's really not that bad this time. So there's not really a lot of important Flood Barriers to build down here. Uh, what we should probably do, actually, is just have this guy over here and grab... Come over here and grab fishing boats for this city. You definitely need a Flood Barrier. Okay, but it's not too bad of one. So yeah, we're going to have all of our Flood Barriers up quite soon, in fact. Way sooner than I was thinking. Okay, let's get that spaceport. This will give us plus one production from quarries, which is not nothing. It will give us access to the spaceport from which we must perform all of the projects. And it will give us access to the first project. It will reveal the 
geography of the entire world and marks the first step toward the space victory. Science victory. Only bringing in two aluminum per turn, and we don't actually see any other sources of aluminum, right? Not in our territory, anyway. We could definitely go settle for aluminum. Any uh, stuff we actually need. I don't know. We'll figure it out. What about my city-state allies? As we have discovered... You know what? I'm not actually sure how this works. I don't think they... I don't think they discover resources based on my tech level. I think they do it based on theirs, and I'm not sure how quickly their tech level increases. I know it's bound to the science of other players, but I don't know if it's just like when half of the civs have discovered aluminum, they can see aluminum, or, you know, there's a lot of ways that could run. So is there anything that I have that you want that I actually want to give you? Probably not, really. Okay, never mind. As much as I want you to pay me. I don't think we're going to reach agreeable terms here. Shaka and Mfemba are at war. Okay, you can build one fishery. Build it here so I get to move a little bit first. Then we have oil to get. And here we shall steal a tech boost. 90% chance of success. Good luck. Godspeed, little spy. Alright, I do actually want this to get done. I want to make sure our cities have reasonable combat strength. Uh, and then we can build a proper power plant here. We're going to buy that power plant in the other place. Sorry, actually, uh... You... It's from a from an industry standpoint, it's better to finish the power plant, but I'm a little nervous about how low our city uh, combat power is right now. So let's just let's push this, and then let's pick a new government type. There's certainly something to be said about plus ten percent science, and the production boost in cities with governors would definitely be useful during the space race projects. The trade-off here is that we. Get one fewer yellow slot, appear, uh, effectively, because we know that our wild card slots are going to be yellow almost all of the time. We get a bonus to domestic trade routes versus the New Deal, which is great. Bonus industry from allies and a discount on gold purchases that's pretty good for us. I mean, we have a lot of gold. We might end up democracy again. I, I mean, like, the 10% science boost is not nothing. That's significant. 0.6 production per citizen in cities that have governors. So we're talking about, like... Liang probably gets moved back over to here at some point. So that's a, uh, that's a fair amount of industry in the capital. And the capital is still growing rapidly as well. Also, I'm kind of tempted to go for it just because it does give us a different government than we had last game. Let's try not to have the games all be very similar. I do think that the major bonus of democracy is incredibly good. And remember, we're getting this trade routes with an ally provide this bonus to both cities. So all of the routes that our allies are running to us would be giving us that bonus as well. Oh, no, wait, am I... Hold on. Your trade routes to an ally's city provide... Okay, so we would get this bonus from our allies if they had democracy. And we do have a lot of trade routes, right? There's 44 food and 44 production that we can kind of redistribute how we want. Versus much less production than that. But also 10% science and also... No, I, I think democracy is just right. Democracy is just better. The plus 10% science, yeah, and democracy is better. It's kind of like ridiculous how good they made democracy. They really, 
they really want you to almost always go democracy, it seems like. Alright, so one of our cards got obsoleted, and we'll replace it with five-year plan, which is just fantastic. What an extremely good card. Uh, and then doubled commercial hub and harbor district adjacency bonuses. Uh, remember that this does double the amount of industry we're getting out of our shipyards. It's hard to not want to run that. Medina Quarter is a pretty good policy. Honestly, Trade Confederation. Yeah, Trade Confederation could probably go. That's a, pretty, that's a much smaller bonus. Okay, well, let's complete some Flood Barriers. I wonder if you get a, uh, a bit of error score for completing these. So America has just declared war on Gilgamesh. Wow, that's a real not-my-problem kind of problem. You guys have fun, though. Nope. Really, no era score for this incredible feat of engineering. That's kind of wild. Like, whoa. Why does that work that way? Okay, well, we definitely need to keep improving our amenities. Just a huge number of people alive in my empire, and they're always unhappy. Which I get. I'm, <laughs> I'm the same way. So yeah, oil power plants just give more industry. They give the same power conversion. Uh, how much coal are we making per turn? 15. So we actually are making more coal than we will be making oil, even after we get both of our extractors up. But we also won't need oil from very much, or for very much. And the production bonus is nice. Like, only the capital would benefit as much from coal as it does from oil. Okay. So what do we need here? We don't need the, sh the seaport, but it is nice. I guess we could use a neighborhood, actually. Uh, yeah, let's buy this tile that isn't worth anything else. Grab that. You should probably have flood barriers. And also, I should probably purchase some educational buildings in this district. Well, next turn anyway. I will say we're not gaining error score as quickly as I might like. America has denounced Hungary because Hungary's hanging out with Sumeria. It's like high school. It's like high school all over again. Why can't people just be chill? Okay, so you can see our city strengths have jumped up with the construction of anti-tank crew. Oh, I can see oil. That's not the same thing as being able to harvest oil. So we should probably get refined. Oh, wow. 14? Really? Yep, I didn't. I haven't researched anything in the bottom part of the tree. Okay, well, I finished rocketry and we'll figure it out. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Okay, well, what, what else could this guy be doing right now? Is fishing boats there already. We have fishing boats on all the stuff over here. Can't really build farms. You can go back and build fisheries. Yep. Yes, that's what he's doing. Hmm. You really want my favor. I really don't think we can afford to trade favor right now. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so our trade routes are completing... Merchants have opened our first trading post in the lands of America. You get a uh, you get an error score bonus the first time you complete a trade route with another empire, and then another error score boost, obviously, from our dedication. So that definitely incentivizes us to make sure that we run a trade route to each other uh, each other empire here at least once. Said so Baltimore's still a pretty good trade route. And external trade routes are also still pretty good. Uh, we could grab... Yeah, let's run... Um... Let's run to America again. For the, uh, for the science boost from our... What do you call it? 
from our uh, alliance. And it looks like Boston has become just better than Baltimore. Triggers a eureka moment for computers and one random tech from the modern era. Man, cannot catch a break on these terrible science people. Well, this is this is just a single eureka, a single eureka from the modern era, because we already have computers. We don't really need the eureka on any of this stuff. We're already getting through it pretty quickly. Like it's only a two-turn boost. I guess. We're going to end up needing most or maybe even all of it. As you can see down here, this is one of the things we have to research. So we're going to have to grab pretty much everything on the bottom part of the tree. So, I mean, it's one useful boost, but it is literally just one random boost. All right, you get me a Ferris wheel. You get me... Um, uh, Boy, what? We definitely need... Oh, a campus. Yeah, obviously. So a campus here would be pretty nice to boost the harbor. Yeah, sure. And speaking of the campus, uh, you know what? Let's buy a sewer so that the city can keep growing. And I think we're going to push on here until we get the new government, and then we'll uh, we'll stop there for today. Yeah, it is remarkable to me how quickly we got all of this flood barrier stuff resolved. Also, apparently there are still tribal villages to discover. So unfortunately, we cannot make another fishery that is actually adjacent to an existing sea resource. Um, but I don't think I want to do anything else with this guy. Maybe we just make a make a bad fishery. It's still not a horrible tile. And it's still the case that there's no wonders that are, like, totally blowing me away. Well, I suppose we could just complete the art museum. Yeah, I'm really... I'm, I'm pretty bummed out about the flood barriers not giving era score. That seems like a thing that totally should. What an impressive feat of engineering it is. Shouldn't we all just be, like, really proud of ourselves? Like, unreasonably so? Alright, here we go. Got access to rocketry. People are building stuff that I don't care too much about. And we've got ourselves a new government. First of all, that's going to be... Some good era score. That is the world's first tier 3 government. Uh, so we definitely want to run New Deal. Housing and amenities, that's pretty good. And most of our cities have at least three districts. Uh, we have access to their finest hour, which I don't really care about. It still doesn't make any sense for us to use any of the Dark Age policies. We could pick up one of these. You know, like... This is pretty good. There are not uh, not a lot of our cities are on our original continent. Uh, I think Raj is actually pretty strong because we are suzerain of what five city states. This is ten science. I think this is better than any other green slot card we're gonna get. And then, don't think we need extra extra build charges. I think it actually is this. I don't think this is necessarily even great. It's just better than the other options. It's not... It is not not great. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm not I'm not disappointed in that. Then I think we're not running any of the Great People Point cards. I think we're not running any of these. Yeah, okay. That's a pretty good government. Got ourselves Gustav Eiffel, who I do think we're going to take. I'm not even sure... What we'll do with him. Universities provide plus four science. That's a much better great person. Albert Einstein, you are uh, you are extremely welcome. We also have actually quite a bit of faith built up, and we're probably not going to be able to get a lot of use out of it anymore. 
because the research lab was sort of the top of that. So we can definitely use faith for patronage now. So we don't have a wonder that we're currently building, but there are some wonders that we might consider building. For the moment, I'm going to ship him off to an out-of-the-way city. We have one build charge left. Yeah, I don't know, just fishery somewhere, basically. Okay, so now that we have rocketry, we have the ability to launch the Earth satellite. We need to also gain the ability to do the moon landing launch. Uh, we need to be able to launch the Mars colony. What else do we have to be able to do here? Science. Launch Earth satellite. Launch moon landing. Launch Mars colony. Launch exoplanet expedition by researching smart materials. Okay, smart materials... Oh, you know what? This might be in the future era. Okay, so that's interesting. We, we won't know the position of that. Well... It's only going to take two techs to open up the moon landing. We just have to get advanced flight and then satellites. And then from there, our next goal is other stuff. So hold on. The, the, our next goal is refining, which we will need for the other stuff we're going to do anyway. And then once we have refining, uh, launch Mars Colony. Yeah, which is a prereq because we need combustion. Okay. Well, it's a lot of technologies, but a lot of them are going to go pretty quickly here. There's definitely nothing we could be doing that is more important in the capital than getting that spaceport up, especially since that oil power plant is not actually going to be useful just yet. Uh, spaceport. No suitable location. Oh, right, because I didn't, uh, I haven't taken control of that tile yet. There we go. 24 turns. We will accelerate that. Trade units and stuff, we can... There are things we can do. Uh, one of the things we can do... Not to accelerate this, but to accelerate the next part. Is find... Somewhere in here there is a, uh, a policy that dramatically increases... Yep, there it is. Plus 15. Plus 15% production towards space race projects if a city has a seaport, which it does. So space race is important. Honestly, there are not a lot of social policies that are big gains for us at this point. I think it really is just straight to space race. Uh, we can get some rock bands, I guess, with all of our faith. I don't know that we have a lot of other great plays with it. We can certainly buy some more... Um, military, or not military, we could buy some more conversion units and try to convert more area, like there's still cities down here that need converting, we could try to take this continent over and then use this continent as a stronghold to push up into Hungary. Is Hungary running a religion? Yes, Protestantism, so it might be kind of hard to wipe that out if we don't want to devote some real resources to it, probably not worth the struggle. We're here, though. We finally arrived. We are on our way to something. So that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time to see if perhaps we cannot indeed breach the firmament. And we'll see you then.